to stay cool when you're feeling hot, but running your air conditioner all day costs a lot. Fans are bulky and just blow hot air in your face. There has to be a better way to cool down your place. Introducing Arctic Air, the personal space cooler that turns hot spaces into cool, refreshing places for just pennies a day. Whether you want to cool off in a hot kitchen or stay nice and comfy watching TV, Arctic Air lets you create your own personal comfort zone. Just add water and press the button. Then relax and enjoy the cooling breeze. Look, portable air conditioners take up so much space and have to vent out a window but Arctic Air is self-contained and lightweight, so now you can have cool, clean air anywhere. Even the intense heat of this blow dryer reads at 96 degrees, but with Arctic Air, it's a comfortable 72. The secret is HydroChill technology that uses an evaporative air cooling filter that pulls in hot air and instantly transforms it into cool, refreshing air. The digital thermostat gives you precise control, and the two-speed fan is whisper quiet, up to eight hours on just one filling. And there's even a soothing nightlight. What a great way to cool off your bedroom without air conditioning your entire home. Arctic Air also purifies and humidifies your air, so it's better for you and your family. Plus, you can even beat the heat outdoors and enjoy a cool, refreshing breeze even on the hottest day. Now everyone in your family can stay cool and comfortable with the Arctic Air, the personal space cooler that turns hot spaces into cool, refreshing places. Comfort, convenience, and above all, quiet. Get it all in one sleek design. Using the Smart HQ app, you can control and monitor the air conditioner from your phone and keep your home cool without sacrificing peace and quiet. Today, we're going to show you how to install your GE window air conditioner. This video will provide four easy to follow step-by-step -step instructions to properly install the air conditioner. In addition to the product inside the box, you'll find the necessary installation materials. Please double check that you have each one before beginning installation. These instructions are for a standard double hung window. You will need to modify them for other window types. The air conditioner can be installed without the side curtain panels if needed to fit in a narrow window. 
all supporting parts must be secured to firm wood, masonry, or metal. The electrical outlet must be within reach of the power cord. On the air conditioner, install the top mounting rail with the three Type A screws. Next, slide the side curtain panels into the side panel rails. Then, slide the left and right side curtain frames into the top and bottom rails. Make sure the side curtain snaps into the side of the frames. To install the unit, first measure the width of the window opening and mark the center line on the inside window sill. Center the air conditioner in the window and place it so that the front edge of the bottom mounting rail is against the back edge of the sill. Bring the window down so that the front edge of the top mounting is in front of the window. Make sure the air conditioner is level or tilting slightly to the outside. Extend the curtain panels until they fill the window. Now, mark the location of the holes in each corner. Use the drill and 1 8 inch drill bit to drill pilot holes and use four Type B screws to secure the side panels in place. Loosen the screw on the side of the unit near the bottom and slide on the side bracket. Install the side bracket into the unit and into the windowsill using two Type B screws provided. Repeat on the other side. Use a Type B screw to install the window lock bracket on top of the bottom window. Cut the foam top window gasket to the window width. Now, stuff the foam between the glass and the window to prevent air and insects from getting into the room. Plug into a three-prong, 115-volt outlet and turn on the air conditioner. You have now completed installation of your GE window air conditioner. Please refer to the installation guide for additional questions and troubleshooting. Today, we're going to show you how to install the GE Profile Clearview Smart Window Air Conditioner, register your product, and connect your product to Wi-Fi. This video will provide eight easy to follow step-by-step -step instructions to properly install the air conditioner. In addition to the product, inside the box you'll find the necessary installation materials. Please double check that you have each one for beginning installation. Register your product by either scanning the QR code on the product registration card or the rating label on the product. Another easy option is to register online at geappliances.com forward slash register. Confirm you have the correct size window air conditioner for your room and window size. These instructions are for a standard double hung window. You will need to modify them for other types of windows. If your interior window stool or trim sticks out greater than half inch, no foam spacers are needed. If your interior window stool or trim does not stick out greater than half inch, two foam spacers are needed. Measure the width of the window opening and mark the center of the opening. Center the foam mounting support in the window opening. Remove adhesive backing and install the necessary amount of foam mounting supports needed to raise the unit above the window ledge. Measure your window depth and use the table below to determine the necessary chaseway position. After determining the appropriate chaseway position, Remove the four locking screws that hold the chaseway in place. Pull the chaseway to the position needed based on your window depth. Place the tab of the side panel bracket into the slot on the chaseway to hold the position. Now, install the four screws back into place to lock in the chaseway. 
It is recommended that two people lift the unit in place into the window. Be careful not to pinch your fingers at the bottom of the chaseway. Now, reach through the window opening and adjust the supports until the unit is secure against the outside wall. Check that the unit is level from front to back and side to side. Once level and secure, reach back through the window and tighten the locking nut on the adjustable supports to secure everything in place. Now that the unit is secure, we will attach the side panels. Close the window and draw a line where the front edge of the window meets the top of the unit. Raise the window back up. Remove the adhesive backing from the side panel brackets and place them onto the unit so that the front edges are lined up with the line you just drew. Now, measure the gaps from the side of the unit to the ends of the window and cut the foam side panels to size. Slide the foam side panels into place within the side panel brackets and ensure the gap to the end of the window is completely sealed. If the panels stick out above the chaseway, mark and cut it accordingly. The foam side panels must be flush with the top of the unit. The next step is to cut the adhesive weather stripping foam to the width of the window. Peel off the backing and lay the foam across the width of the window, over the unit and side panels, following the line drawn with the pencil. After laying the foam down, close the window on top of it. Our last step is to install the window wedge, sash lock, and foam top window gasket. The window wedge is supplied to provide easy access to open the window when desired. It's primarily a convenience option and is not meant to be used for security. For additional security, a sash lock is provided. Attach the sash lock to the window side jam with one Type B screw. Now, stuff the foam top window gasket between the glass and window to prevent air and insects from getting in the room. The foam may need to be cut to fit depending on the window wedge position. Plug into a three-prong, 115-volt outlet and turn on the air conditioner. You have now completed installation of your GE Profile Clearview Smart Window Air Conditioner. Please note that it's important to clean the air and water filters every 250 hours for proper maintenance. This is an easy process as shown here. The light will flash on the control panel, letting you know it's time to clean the filter. Please refer to the installation guide for additional questions and troubleshooting. To enjoy the many benefits of the smart features of this product, it must be connected. Follow the instructions on the included Smart HQ guide to connect your unit and begin monitoring and controlling your air conditioner from anywhere. Visit.